Hi children welcome to grade 5 english and this is our session 9 in chapter 4 the kabuli wala and now we are going to recall the story this story was all about a little girl mini and the street vendor from afghanistan the kabuli wala and his name was ragamat mini and ragamat shared a very beautiful bond and relationship with each other and friendship ragamat would bring fruits and nuts every day while he came there to see mini they both liked to share jokes laughter and many silly things between each other every single day and they were very happy and cheerful each day until one strange and unexpected thing happened yes ragamad stabbed a man with a knife who denied to pay his debt for rampuri shawl he bought from ragamad and after that the people in that place and mini they all forgot about ragamat and after so many years ragamat returned from jail and he went to mini's house and there was a festivity in the house mini's father initially couldn't able to recognize kabuli wala but after a while he can able to identify him and Kabuli wala wanted to see Mini but Mini's father hesitated at first after he saw the grief and the pain in Ragamat's face while he was trying to leave the house he called out Mini many women in the family they were very angry on Mini's father for doing this but Mini's father was strong enough to call out mini and he wanted her to meet the kabuli wala because he can able to see all those beautiful moments they shared with each other mini came out and she saw kabuli wala she couldn't able to recognize him but Kabuli wala felt very happy and joyful after seeing Mini. As usual, Ragamat brought some dry fruits and nuts for Mini. And he asked the same question he would be asking each and every day while he met Mini. Yes, are you going to your father-in-law's house? And now Mini can able to understand Mini. what ragamad was asking so she felt very shy and her face turned red in embarrassment and after mini went inside ragamad sat there with heavy heart and mini's father can able to sense that ragamad took out a small piece of paper with imprint of small hands dabbed in charcoal and ragamat told that it was the imprint of his daughter who is in afghanistan and now mini's father can able to understand the kabuli wala was not the normal fruit peddler in streets of calcutta he was also the father of a daughter a lovable daughter like mini and also now she would have totally forgot ragamat so his heart was in pain he took out some money he kept for mini's wedding and he gave it to ragamat and he told him you go and see your family in afghanistan let your reunited with your family 
and your reunion can bring blessings to our little girl me and ragamat took out the money from mini's father and he felt very thankful for that even though mini's father had to cut out some expenses he had to make for mini's wedding but now he felt very happy and wholeheartedly he gave that money to ragamat he felt very light hearted and he can able to understand that the reunion of their family can sure bring blessings to his little girl mini and what is the moral of this story children it depicts the true friendship between little girl mini and ragamat the kabuli wala and it also shows the conflict between two different generations and how they were totally different with each other the contrast between an adult's perspective on life and world view of a little child has been brought to you very beautifully in the story the kabuli wala and now let us move on to our concept connection in this chapter that is regular verb yes we all know verbs or words that are used to describe some kind of action and they are divided into regular and irregular verbs regular verbs for their past tense by adding ed and g to it they are called as regular verbs for example clean cleaned finish finished paint painted and dance danced and they have given you so many examples of regular verbs in your concept book page number 73 children and now we are moving on to our irregular verb irregular verb means these verbs remain the same as the base form or changed into another verb while they are changing into their past tense yes such verbs are called as irregular verbs for example say said come came and hurt hurt put put cut cut the base form and the past tense of the verb remains the same in certain verbs and also in some other verbs it changes completely into a different verb yes and i hope you all are clear with the kabuli wala story and also the concept connection regular and irregular verbs now we are going to write class work for chapter 4 the kabuli wala and before we start writing let me tell you the writing guidelines take fresh page write today's date start every line with capital letter leave one finger space between each word sharp your pencil whenever needed write neatly and clearly and first roman letter is keywords daughter akhir wakeful instant feisty abrupt suspicious hesitate rebuke rescue laughter innocent routine precautious abduction kidnap handcuff escort accost bustle courtyard chandeliers remorse grim impression merchandise aristocratic ceremony embarrass and envision and after writing this you can take fresh page and you can start your second roman letter that is synonyms and acquire attain interject interrupt hesitate delay pretend fake contrary opposite escort guard aristocratic courteous peddler dealer embarrass shame envision visualize and third roman letter is antonyms childish mature rescue recover invade surrender usual unusual customary rare and children i will be posting 
your classwork in Google Classroom, you can refer that and you can write it in Google in your English note. Yes. And now let me tell you the home assignment for today's session. Read chapter 4 keywords, synonyms and antonyms thoroughly and you can practice it in your English note. And hand in your completed homework in grade 5 English Google Classroom. Children, drink more water, eat healthy food, reduce your screen time, give adequate rest to your eyes, don't use mobile phones and television often, stay home and stay safe children. Thank you so much.